up you guys welcome back to my channel so it's that time of year again folks Halloween yeah! and I of course I'm gonna be taking you along for the ride with me this weekend me and my bestie are going to be hitting up Charlotte this year um, so we're pretty much going to the same bar crawl just a different city it's the same uh, it's the same company that that does the other ball crawl that we went to in Char uh, in Raleigh last year and the year before that I'm super excited right now I'm picking up my nephew from school because he has an early release date today and early release dates are auntie's day to pick him up so I'm sitting here waiting for him but after that my bestie is gonna come scoop me a little later and we're going to head to Mecklenburg County and live it up okay i'm not going to share what i am for halloween with you just yet because not everybody had a good reaction to what i was being like i feel like when i said hey i'm gonna be this they were just like oh okay <laughs> like nobody had a good reaction to it but i feel like the costume is hella cute like it's gonna be warm i'm gonna be stunning i'm so excited i'm not gonna share with you what i'm gonna be i'm just it's gonna be a surprise i'll probably check back in with you guys when i we actually get to charlotte and um go from there but i shall see you soon toodles finally made it to Charlotte we're here in the room um sorry there's water running in the background my bestie's taking a bath but um we are here let me show you the digs um there's the beds nothing you haven't seen before tv blah jay blah and we do have a little bit of a view just a smidge not too shabby we're actually in uptown Charlotte so um yeah not too bad just going to like settle down for a second and figure out what the heck we're gonna do. I do want to hit up um, a nice little spot tonight. I know we're probably gonna go and get something to eat at some point. So uh, yeah, this is an every year thing. This is probably like the third or fourth year that I've filmed. Um, our Halloweens. We just go and make a weekend of the Halloween weekend and go and just have fun. And I'll probably check back in with you guys when we're ready and all dolled up and stuff, ready to go out. We'll see what the night holds for us. You never know. The night, the day is young, I guess you could say. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all soon. Moments later. All right, you guys, we are on our way out. Looking like a million bucks. I think we're gonna go get Asian food, of, as, of course. I mean, we can never find any other kind of type of food. It's just always Asian. We're gonna be Asian in another life. I look a mess. Ugh. Last night was, it was fine, but <clears throat> if there's one thing that I learn going out at this age that I'm at, I'm 32 years old, it's just, I can't do it like I used to. It's kind of good that I do it. I go on, I do the going out thing in moderation because Jesus, <laughs> like it's just so much on my body and you know it's just 
Like I, I think the last bar we went we went to last night, I fell asleep twice, and the then the bouncer came around and gave me a bottle of water because I like nodded off like twice. <laughs> like I just I'm getting older. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just can't deny it. It's inevitable. So I I don't even remember taking off my makeup last night. It was it was fun. I, I remember getting to the room and calling everybody that I know. <laughs> Have those people were asleep probably because I didn't get any answer. I get really chatty when I'm drinking and you know, that's just what it is. But now I have to muster up the strength to go and drink today for like it's bar crawl, which is the main event. So bear, bear, just bear with me. I'm trying to get myself together, okay? We're probably about to start getting ready shortly. We will check back in with you guys when we're all Halloweened out. Toodles. Hi guys, we're on our way. Outfit ready, race car driver, Hooters girl. Wait, girl. <laughs> hours later what's up you guys we are back in our humble abode it's been a long night it's been such a long night like we stayed at this same bar for i think we only went to like two bars in the whole crawl and there was like maybe three or four that we didn't go to but with the last bar we went to we stayed at for like eight hours <laughs> we've never stayed that long somewhere before other than our jobs <laughs> so that's the first but it was really fun i didn't get as tipsy as i did last night but still a good time nonetheless i will show you my bestie but she's in her birthday suit right now but um we um ordered food and we're gonna um have it in an hour <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long time before we get it because it's late at night and even though things are available to be delivered to us it takes forever so anyway um i'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow when we go or when we're on our way home i really want to try this fast food restaurant that we've never had before um so hopefully we get to do that but i will see you soon toodles Ew. <laughs> Guys, we're trying Culver's. So excited. Katie's off to a bad start because she has a bootleg looking wrench. It's, it's not even bootleg looking, it's too fancy. The salad dressing ranch. If you know, you know. So I was telling her, I don't really, I don't know if she was expecting a homemade ranch. Like a restaurant? Not a homemade ranch, but like. Oh, okay, well, that's not what she's expecting. Not a, not a salad dressing ranch either. So I got um, some chili cheese fries and a Culver Deluxe with bacon. So healthy for me, right? Here's the fries. They look amazing balls. I got a cheese. What was this one? A, cur a curd burger. No onion. It's got like a cheese curd on top. Basic fries. She got pretzel bites though. Yeah, they're coming. Yummy. And they serve with cheese sauce. Oh, this chili actually has like beans on it. Beans. I think they would have gave us this to some a fork or something. I I mean, what if I don't got no fork at the house? <laughs> like if I was to take it home. You ain't at the house. <laughs> Fries are basic. Could you something special. <laughs> you have like premium sides. Which is, well I think I got a signature side. 
I think the pretzel bites were um, uh, the signature the other one or premium the other one? The top one. I think that like premium was like the last one on the list. Okay, well the pretzel bites were premium. But I got both. Appetizer, obviously. Mm. Bring it to his basic. Yeah. Mm. Buttermilk. It tastes like the kind you buy all the grocery store and you think for your house, you know? You think it's gonna be better than it is. Right. It never hits. Hidden Valley. Mm. Was it like a Hidden Valley though? It's not Hidden Valley. <laughs> I was explaining to Ebony that she said a post-it for a sticky note that they gave us to put on our car. And I was like, it's not a post-it. It's a, oh, it's not a sticky, oh, it's not a post-it, it's a sticky note. And brands do that. Like Kleenex is a tissue, Q-tips, that's the brand name. Crazy. But we'll say, let, let me get a Kleenex, but it's really called tissue. Look at this, she's like oozing out. Wow, show the people. The cheese is just coming. Yum, this is good. We haven't ate in three days. I can't, but. We only ate like once yesterday, and we were about to die. <laughs> and we tried to <laughs> order DoorDash twice, and they kept canceling the order because nobody was open, apparently. I don't like some BS to me, but who was hungry? How is McDonald's closed? Exactly. This is so good. Like the cheese curd has like such a crunch on there. Why is my burger that size? <laughs> well, the patties don't look that big on there. This is mine, you guys. Nice bacony goodness. My bad. It's not like the mall ones, but it's good. A little crunchier than the mall. Not crunchy, but like hard. I got a root beer. Mountain Dew for me. Not a Pepsi products. Or a no-go on the Pepsi. <laughs> everybody in the parking lot is from church. Yeah, everybody's like coming out of the restaurant that has church clothes on. Like they've been to the church house today and worship. Hallelujah. And we did a weekend of binging. <laughs> Yeah, there are these like um, Christian people at the, I guess, whatever. And they were Jesus thumpers, Bible thumpers. Like, you're sinning, you're going to hell, da 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 da. They're like standing outside all of the bars that we were going to. And I love Jesus. So does she. But just because we do stuff like this in moderation, does that mean that we're gonna go to hell? I don't know. But anyway, I don't think so. <laughs> it's my belief that I don't, I don't think know. so. <laughs> but in their head, they were, you're going to hell. I've never experienced that before. They were like yelling at these people for kissing. Like, first of all, you don't know other people's situation. What if those people were married? You know what I mean? And these people were kissing in front of them to like egg them on, which I don't agree with either. There, there was people like trying to make the situation worse by like, but also at the same time, they're like, do you think, they're like, just because you repent your sins doesn't mean you're going to heaven. Like, first of all, first of all, don't judge That us. is not what my Jesus says, which is very interesting to see that. Usually I see that on, on TV. like TV somewhere. <laughs> not in real life, so that was the first for me. We didn't let it stop the party, of course. This is what I hate about, like, religion, though. Cause I love law and order, but every time you see somebody religion coming on there, you know some story is about to be terrible. <laughs> My God. They just gotta give a bad name to religion, you know? But what do you think their purpose was? To get one person to be like, I'm not going even though I already paid my money for the bar crawl. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I don't know, that is a good question. Like what they're, what they were looking for. Like how happened. Oh, I'm gonna come over here and stand with you guys all night. Spread the word. I'll Should check we back. do a rating? Oh, um, yes, we can rate. One through five or one through four. I mean, one through ten. Yeah. I'm gonna, this burger's hitting. I'm gonna say... Seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half, eight. That's what I was thinking. I wanted to give it an eight, but I think it's more of a seven. I mean, it's really good, but not the best of the best. 
I feel like you could probably get a better burger somewhere. It's not the same as bad at all. Like, if one of these are in your town, probably on the list to go. <laughs> That's how good it is right there. <laughs> Definitely if you're going out of town, stop by. I don't know what I would compare it to though. You know? What would you compare it to? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I've had their ice cream before. It's not that good. And you're gonna let me get a milkshake. But it's like a malt. They don't have like ice cream. They have malt. Whatever. Maybe a little touch of Wendy's maybe. Something. Uh-huh. That's a good comparison. Yeah. When this is good. Hey guys, I'll check back in with you once I get home and settled back in my humble abode. What would you rate Wendy's? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes they have bad days. <laughs> I agree. But a four for four, they ain't got that anymore. But a five for four. <laughs> It's good. I love the nuggets, but I want to get them separately, you know? Yeah. But was it four for four? Yep. Peace out. Alright, you guys. I am back home. Finally. Had so much fun this weekend, but I'm a little worn out, just like I am every year. <laughs> it's nothing new. But, um, thank you guys so much for coming along with us. We had a blast. It was really fun. I just wanted to close out the vlog here. And I will see you very soon in the next one.